Um, if you've had me before, you know that Veterans Day is my most favorite holiday here at GMS. We do a lot of celebrating for it. For you uh, sixth graders, you, you, we're still going to celebrate, even if we're going to be virtual. And I thought it'd be a great um, week since we got the election going on. And November 11th is Veterans Day that we talk about Jasper Johns and how he made the American flag art. So this is his work to the right. And we're going to flip it. So in this little lesson, we're going to learn who is Johns. He is definitely an artist to that American artist marching to his own drum. Um, the American flag, the history behind it, what it means, how you're supposed to take care of it. We're going to learn what a mosaic is. That's a new little art process for you all. And you're going to create your own mosaic using the concepts we learn to make your own rendition of the American flag. So here's Jasper Johns, born in 1930. And if you notice, um, he, right here at the very bottom, says so the New York Times called him the United States' foremost living artist. That's right. Jasper still, still a going. So Jasper Johns, as I said, is an American painter, sculptor, printmaker, whose work is associated with abstract expressionism, neo-data, and pop art. You've probably seen his work a lot and never put it together who it was, that it was in a famous artist. So I'm happy to open your eyes to know and um, learning about this artist. Now, every time I ever hear the name Jasper Johns, I always think of the American flag because he is known for doing depictions of the American flag and other U.S. related topics. His work regularly sells for millions of dollars. And he had a reported sale of 110 million for one piece of art in 2010. And multiple times, his work has held the title of the most paid for a work by a living artist. So basically, he's made the most money living. Usually, sadly, artists don't really make their money until they've passed away. It's because supply and demand. If that artist is not there to, to uh, supply more arts of work and they're harder to find, then demand goes up and they become more expensive. He's received many um, honors throughout his career, including the National Medal um, of Arts in 1990 and the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011. Here's two of his masterpieces. Um, I always think of the American flag. This is 1955. Uh, he has different versions. There was one in 1958, maybe in 1962. There's different ones, but this one I just picked just because I think it was the first one. And this other one, a lot of people, when they think the Jasper Johns, they think of this target with four faces. So take it in. Very interesting. I believe these are on wood. Very interesting pieces of work if you ever get to see them in person. And now I want to talk about the American flag, the history of it, because I want this to be a Veterans Day, an Election Day, an Americana inspired project. So here's a little time um, timeline. Betsy Ross sewed the first American flag in 1776. Yes, that is right. And there below it, you will see what that flag looked like. Now, on down a few more years, almost 100, but not quite. The South leaves the Union, but President Lincoln refuses to remove their stars from the flag. So there's the flag in 1861. When the South leaves the Union, which we refer to it as the Civil War. In uh, 1949, Truman signs a bill requesting that the president call for Flag Day. So June 14th is the observance each year by proclamation of Mr. President Truman to OA. That's our special flag day. And then 1960, the 50th star was added for Hawaii. And now here, here's a lot of info to throw at y'all at once, but I think it's uh, important. I found it very interesting and I love some random facts. So I want to share them with you. Now, the first one, this shouldn't be that random. You all know that there's 50 stars for each state and 13 stripes on the American flag. Those 13 stripes um, show represent the original 13 colonies that became the first states in the union. 
the colors red, white, and blue are the ones that you see. They represent valor, liberty, and purity, and justice and loyalty. Uh, Betsy Ross, as I had already said, she was the seamstress for the clothes of George Washington, who was the first president of the United States. And in June, Washington, he approached her to make the first American flag. So she was just a seamstress or what you all would think of as a um, fashion designer, if we really want to be, be uh, really think about it. So she was just a... Uh, made clothes and he, she was approached by President Washington to do that. And who knew that it would become what it become what it is, has became. Um, when Alaska and Hawaii became states, the 49th and 50th, Eisenhower received thousands of ideas for the updated flag, which I find this very, very interesting that Robert Heff, a 17 year old high school student from Ohio, submitted his version that um, he created for the class project. And it was accepted and remains in use today. So that flag that we see is the um, a, the rendition that um, Robert Hill put out. But believe it or not, this is crazy, but he got a B minus on that project at school. And he actually won the overall contest. That was one harsh teacher. Uh, after a tragedy like September 11th, a lot of you were not alive. Well, I know a lot of you were not alive. I was in high school. Um, when that happened in 2001, or a death like Abraham Lincoln, the flag is flown at half staff for 30 days as re representation of the whole nation being in a state of mourning. It's called half staff on land and half mass on ship. And the little other tidbit for you is that of the six American flags that are planted on the moon, five of them are still standing. Which one is not? Well, the very first one that was with Apollo 11 mission planted by Neil Armstrong. It is no longer there. And here I made this whole diagram of just all kinds of things about rules um, and thoughts about the American flag. I talked to you about national tra um, tragedy. You do it half staff or if you're on a ship, you're half mass. Schools. Did you know that the flag should be flown during school days in in or near every school building. I know that there is, in the past, I guess we haven't been able to put it together yet, but we have um, a flag crew that every morning they put the flag up in front of the school. Now, weather, this is important. It should never be flown in bad weather. So if there is definitely like tornado, really heavy, torturous, treacherous rain, flag is not to be flown. And if you have it up at night, you should always have it illuminated. You should have a spotlight on it to shine and let that flag shine. Um, there's a myth that if the flag touches the ground, it has to be burned. Well, actually, what that um, is, that is a myth. What it really, the truth is, is that if it's in distress, um, if the flag is damaged. So if your flag is damaged, it must be burned because it, it's no longer suitable for flying. Um, if you're in distress, you ever hear people say, I'll wave the white towel, the white flag. I am a, you know, I'm give up. Well, if you're in distress, it can be flown upside down to signal the flag. Flight upside down signals the distress. Um, speed, you should uh, raise it quickly and lower it slowly. And no other flag can be placed above it. You get that? Okay, no flag above the American flag. Now we're gonna talk about mosaics. This is an example of a very, very fancy mosaic. In art, it's a decoration of a surface with designs made up closely set, usually variously colored small pieces of material such as stone, mineral, glass, tile, or shell. So that is a very, very um, um, intricate, detailed mosaic. You all have probably see mosaics all the time, maybe in a shower, the tiling in the bathroom, or even the tiling on the floor is considered a mosaic. So we're going to create our own mosaic using the inspiration of the American flag. So here's our materials. Now, if you're doing this with me, that means that I will supply you with the piece of cardboard that you will glue your materials on. 
I will supply you with glue and also a box of goodies that you can go through and um, choose what you want to use to assemble your flag. So if you don't have that and you're at home and you're doing this as a quarantine project, um, you're going to have to cut out, you know, I've cut out a piece of cereal box for mine and um, you want a piece of maybe cardstock or a light cardboard and you need white runny school glue you can use a glue gun if you have that available because sometimes you may want to add pieces that need um, a little bit more power behind them and you can create your own box of found objects that you can use to assemble your flag you can be as creative as you want so here is um, Jasper Johns. This is another one of his flag renditions. So first you're going to get your box and cardboard from me or you're going to gather yours together. Sort the box and arrange a mosaic that resembles the American flag. Glue it down and upload the picture to me. So here is a video and in this video I go through the whole process of piecing together a mosaic. Hey guys, I am going to walk you through how we're going to do a mosaic. Um, inspired by Jasper Johns, um, the famous American flag artwork. So, what we're going to do is first, um, if you were in here with me, then I'm giving you just a bunch of random stuff in a box. So there's newspaper, construction paper, even straws, plastic baggies, just all kinds of different things that you can use. But you would have a little piece of cardboard, and what I like to do whenever doing a mosaic, I like to create a map. So I went ahead and drew the American flag, 13 um, lines for the 13 col original colonies and the 50 stars to represent each um, state. So what I'm going to do now, as you can see, i got bread, boxes, and everything. I'm going to fill this in with pieces of... Uh, just piece together what I want. So I'm not just going to lay a red strip there. That's not very interesting. So you may want to do this. You can tear it even. I have no problem with how you want to do your mosaic. I actually probably like this idea of tearing it. And another thing that I like to do is to mix up textures and colors. Um, that's something that you see in Jasper John's work is the, the texture of things. So let's say I could use this plastic bag. I'm just going to cut it apart and I can glue it down to add a little bit of a dimension to it. Just cut some things up. And red, I spice it up and put a little pink in there. Just, just to get it all really cool. Give it so it's just not look like I'm gluing a bunch of little pieces together. So you want to put your I like to use the old school Elmer school glue and I know everyone's going to go through this process where they're going to be like they're going to put it on their hand and peel it off and all that but try not to and um, also just to add texture textures the way something feels I think that always adds to artwork you can like ball it up and add it you see that kind of creates a different look for your flag, kind of like Jasper Jones is that way. He, you can look and see the texture that he has on it. Um, ooh, I like that. I can just pull that off. You may have all kinds of found objects at your house, just floating around. I think it'd be cool if you had like Legos that you used to put um, this together. I'm a Lego. Fan. I don't know why I never did Legos when I was little because I'm obsessed now. My nephew Henry's eight and I'm always stealing his Legos or I'll use the excuse that I'm buying him a Lego, but really I'm getting it so I can put it together. I trick him to let me put it together. That's kind of wicked, isn't it? I do 
something that I found um, a former student did when doing like a little mosaic. She would take the end of her pencil and kind of wrap it around. Okay, and then like attach it that way. That gives it a really cool flower effect. But as you can see, I have successfully covered my first line. So there's the first part. And I'm going to look around and see. Yeah, this is a cool idea. I may actually do this more for my stars, but I found these. I have these plastic straws. And I'm going to. trying to get a blue base so I can just 